But first up, we have Amonge Sikonto, who is only 18 years old. And she's already been invited to speak at global platforms like TEDx, Google and Facebook. She's also the co-founder of Blackboard Africa, an organization that aims to see the African youth at the forefront of global innovation. And she was recently listed as one of the 100 most influential young South Africans, which is something incredible for someone who is only 18. I mean, my mind is blown at all the motivation we've got lined up this Monday. But if you've got any questions for Amonge or any of our other guests, just head over to social media, tweet us, Instagram us, Facebook us, and then we might be reading your comments live on air. Welcome to the show, girl. Hi. <laughs> you are looking bright and as radiant as ever. Thank you. Thank and, you. And if Hi. the way you put yourself together says anything about the incredible work that you're doing, girl, hats off to oh, you thank indeed. You. Thank you. Now, I've already mentioned to our viewers that you have already been ranked as one of the most influential youths of South Africa. How does that even feel? Um, I mean, obviously it's incredible and it's such an amazing honor, but for me, I think it just really, it's, it's exciting. It really, <laughs> really excites me for the fact that, you know, people are paying a lot more attention to youth voices. Like there are young people in the country doing amazing, amazing things. So I can't wait to get to the point where that list is filled with people half my age. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> so I love the fact that you want to, you're not competing with anyone, you're oh, in no. fact challenging everyone exactly. to do better at a lot earlier in life. And exactly. who knows, by the time you're 18, you might be sitting along here with me just <laughs> like Wamonge. Girl, you've already spoken on incredible platforms, yeah. TEDx, Google, Facebook. How intimidating are those experiences, if they're intimidating at all? And when you get up there, how do you psych yourself up for whatever you're about to say? I know. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's, it's very intimidating because, like, you're going there and you have to represent yourself and I'm representing my organisation. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of things to think about. But I think one thing that I took away, I was at a roundtable discussion with Michelle Obama. Woo! And, um, <laughs> I mean, you just no. got that in casually. <laughs> no, no, but honestly, like, I, I got there and I had all my notes and my pens and my papers and my questions, and she said, get rid of all of that. Like, I just want to speak to you as an individual. And for me, I was kind of reminded that, like, if Michelle Obama can see that there's something inside of me and, you know, just thinking about everything that, you know, we're working towards, mm. then, like, don't be intimidated by these spaces. It's not just about you, but it's about the purpose and about the journey, so. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, in that moment, it's difficult to feel that way, but it has nothing to do with you. Exactly. You're merely a mouthpiece, yeah. speaking on behalf of the incredible work that you're doing, yeah. the people that you're working around exactly. and towards. So exactly. when you do lend your voice to such conversations, what are the topics that move you the most and what do you really want to speak to? Yeah, um, I think I just really want to speak to like representation within youth mm -hmm. and just taking youth seriously. I mean, youth voices need to be amplified because there's something unique and special that I think that we as young people bring to the table. So I want to see that being represented in all sorts of spaces, creative spaces, mm -hmm. political spaces, you know, different ways because there's so many different ways that we can contribute to like our community and our society. Absolutely. Um, so definitely like youth activism is a big one for me, um, but also just women's issues and women's mm -hmm. rights. I'm really big activist on that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of me. So when you look at these um, topics that you are so passionate about, yeah. whether it's women, children, representation in all fields and in all walks yeah. of life, for yourself, what are the current issues and challenges that you're being seeing faced and have you been able to think of avenues and ways to heal those and patch it up? 100%. Um, I think a lot of youth are facing a lot of identity issues yeah. because our society is kind of rejecting Africanness. And then when I started, you know, the NPC that I started, Blackboard Africa, at the time, you know, this was before Queen Sono and like, yeah. you know, all these the amazing, <laughs> you know, representations of Africanness being celebrated, you know, you know, language is not really being embraced in our schools and our environments, our hair, you know, all of those things. So I think that's a major issue and it's, it's affecting the way that we as young people value our voices and value our contributions. So um, what we do in Blackboard Africa is that we provide a platform for them to express those, you know, those frustrations, those thoughts mm -hmm. and, you know, have their voices be amplified, but then also take that and turn it into action, into change, into leadership, you know? Mm. You know, actually mobilize into something meaningful and tangible and yeah. impactful. So, yeah. And then how does social media play um, its role in this whole incredible yeah 
mammoth task that you have taken yeah. on. I mean, you are the social media generation, or rather, we are. I'm not that old, Auntie Palin. That old. <laughs> but how how are you using social media? I mean, already having close contacts with yeah. organizations like Facebook, like Google. Yeah. How are you using these um, connections to continue to drive the point? One hundred percent. I think. Social media is our tool, do you yeah. know what I mean? I did a TEDx on using social media for social impact. Like, I'm all for it. Um, this generation, I think we've gotten a reputation for being, you know, narcissistic or all these kinds of things because of social media and the way that a lot of people are using it. And I'm advocating for the fact that Social media allows for so much interconnectivity. Mm -hmm. You can connect with people all around the world, ideas from all around the world. And I think it's just, it's such a waste for us to not be using that yeah. to influence something you know, positively. Mm. But it's easier said than done because this also yeah. comes with a whole lot of responsibility. Yeah. And some people aren't really willing to take on that responsibility, yeah. especially at the age of 18. Yeah. So as a youth in the 21st century right now, how are you finding the navigation of that space with social media, but also taking up space next to incredible global icons? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's hard, you know, trying to balance everything because, you know, you want to be young and you want to be 18. I'm in varsity and all of that, you know. Um, but I think I'm always just driven by the fact that it's not about me. Okay. Everything that I do and everything that I work through mm -hmm. is is for my purpose and for my passion. And I think that's what's driving me all the time. Yeah. So I'm not too concerned by everything that's intimidating me or making me feel small, because yes. it's, it's not about me. Yeah. <laughs> it is not about you. But I love the fact that we do have such an intellectual brain that's pushing something that is so meaningful yeah. and so monumental. And there's so many young girls looking at you saying, I also want to do that. I also want to start my own NGO. Yeah. Um, and you have done so with Blackboard. You've co-founded it with an incredible partner how has the process been like putting it together and then going after what you need to do <laughs> um it was a struggle because um when we started i was 15 so what i was not at girl all. make me look <laughs> terrible at 15 okay yeah yeah i mean i wasn't thinking about you know sustainability in this big, you know, program that what it's what it's turned into. Um, I was just like, well, this is something that I want and this is something that I feel like my peers and my generation needs, mm -hmm. my siblings need. Um, so we started it on, on Instagram and then, you know, we went to a website and then we started doing our events and programs and we started harnessing everything that we've been taking from yeah. all these incredible spaces and making sure that they're accessible to mm -hmm. young people. We have great ideas. We have great capacity mm -hmm. but we need to make sure that we're able to represent ourselves we need to make sure that we're able to take that forward so so on yeah. a very practical level among yeah. i mean we're speaking very in the air but yeah. our viewers right now they're watching they want to get involved they yeah. want to get stuck in and yeah. help out and lend their voice to a cause that you're fighting yeah. so hard for so how can they do that how can they get stuck in yeah. and what are some of the things that you've seen come out of blackboard yes um so ways that people can interact um so we have our website so people can write in you know we have article pieces poetry pieces you know that's what it's for, you know, share your story through us. Um, so that's one way. And then obviously interacting in all of our programs and workshops. Right now we're based in Joburg just mm. because of resources. But I mean, we would love to see ourselves get to the space where we can expand out to the rest of the country or even the continent. So, oh. yeah. Um, and then I forgot about your last question. Um, just <laughs> from some success stories or the mark. Yes. Um, on, a, yes. It, on any scale or any level, the mark that Blackboard has made so yeah. far. Um, I think I've just seen a lot of initiative come out of the people mm -hmm. who've gone through our programs. So they go and they start off podcasts or they, mm -hmm. you know, start clothing brands or like they do purpose driven clothing brands. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I think everything has started to be a lot more intentional. We've seen a lot of growth in the people who've gone through our programs. Um, so m maybe they haven't necessarily started their own business or whatever, but I think there's just been personal growth yeah. in the way that they interact with every space that they enter. So I think yeah. growth on any level um, is very, very important. Exactly. And we've seen that. So if you want to get stuck in and you want to find out more about Blackboard, head over to Afternoon Express's website and we'll have all the information as as to how you can lend your voice to something that is so crucial.
Now, I know mentorship means a lot to you. You've got incredible, strong, powerful ladies yeah. like um, <laughs> Nom Zamo uh, mentoring you and working yeah. side by side. Yeah. So if you were to take on that mentorship hat for a split second yeah. and you want to motivate and give advice to any of our young viewers out there or older viewers yeah. out there who see a spark in you and it ignites something within them, what would that advice be? Okay. Um, my advice would be stay outrageous. I think young people, our minds can stretch, you know, mm. lengths of the world, you know. We can really imagine things that people who have been through life and who are very stuck in a pretty linear thought aren't really thinking of. So stay outrageous, stay insane. You know, I think that's, that's what it is. Be bold, be exactly. courageous. And exactly. do it with intention. And we are definitely challenging you here on Afternoon Express to step out of your comfort zone. And who knows, the sky's the limit. Now we have asked our viewers on social media if they've got any questions for you. And we've got Shireen Abrahams here who says, Hi Amonge, how does it feel to have achieved all of this at such a young stage in your life? Um, I mean, it's incredible, like I said, but I think it's, it's so great. I'm so grateful that I'm able to inspire. Mm. I'm able to be the person to be like, guys, I did it, you know? So it's definitely 100% possible for mm. you to do it. And through our platform, you can access all of those opportunities. So mm. yeah, it's possible. It is possible. Yeah. We have another one here from uh, Usindi Swa, who said, what is your vision and personal goal? That's a good one. Oh, that's a good Ooh. one. Because I know you're studying right now. Yes, yes, So is that yes. all in alignment heading there? Um, I think so. Is that goal? <laughs> definitely. I definitely think I want to be involved in social impact in whatever capacity that is. So right now I'm really focused on youth and women, but mm -hmm. you know, I would love to expand into different aspects of that. I just want to see our continent, our country grow and ex expand and excel. So you know, I, I want to be a part of that story. And I think that says so much about you that your personal goal and your personal mission and vision is something for all of us. It has nothing to do with you. Exactly. And you've made it your goal and your role in life yeah. to achieve that for the rest of us. So we thank you. <laughs> we are giving you so much love, so much support and power because you are powerful. Thank and you've you. proven that anything is possible if you're willing to step out of your boundaries. <laughs> now coming up after the break, in celebration of the Hindu festival, Holly, we which takes place today. We're making an Indian Pamir curry. Oh, sounds delicious. See you after these.